Hi, my name is Cedric Honstadt. I'm an illustrator and a courtroom sketch artist, and I just wanted to comment real quickly about something you may have seen online in the past couple days. Uh, recently, an, another courtroom sketch artist named Jane Rosenberg, who, whom I've never met, I never heard of her until yesterday, but she uh, did a sketch at, at a hearing of NFL quarterback uh, uh, Tom Brady, and the drawing honestly didn't turn out that good, and so the internet has kind of, for whatever reason, decided that this is the latest thing they're going to uh, kick around and make fun of and so they've taken the sketch that she did and they've photoshopped it into all kinds of memes and it's being spread around and people are having lots of fun and laughing and it's being published on Gawker and BuzzFeed and Newsmax and all these websites and um, while I can certainly appreciate a good joke I love to laugh at stuff I like to share funny things online um, there's something about it that's kind of bothered me and uh, two things I want to say really quick first I want to just share a couple things about courtroom sketching and why not every drawing is going to be a masterpiece and second uh, just say something about this whole culture of shaming that we have um, first of all when you're when you're in a courtroom situation as a sketch artist you have to draw really fast the news trucks they want to have something right away that they can edit together and put in their next broadcast at 12 o'clock or, or whenever it is so you need to you need to just draw fast and you're in a, um, a, a situation where you're not cooperating with the subject that necessarily wants to be drawn they may not want to be drawn so they may be looking away putting their head down um, and so you just have to make the best that you can and another thing about the whole courtroom situation is that when you walk in the area where the the judge and the lawyers and everybody sit is empty they fill up the gallery first where the public comes in and then they let everybody else in so the person so when you grab your seat you don't know whether you're going to get a good view of the person you're drawing or not and and quite often you don't get that great of a view uh, one time I had someone that I had to draw the, the the defendant sat right in front of me with their back to me the whole time so I had to try and do the best I could to make a good drawing out of that so um now, so you kind of have to make things up on the fly. And, and, and as I said, these are not meant to be masterpieces. They're done quickly, and they're disposable. They're going to be on TV for a few seconds and then just kind of discarded. So uh, while I'm not advocating sloppiness or laziness, I do. Um, uh, just The reality is you just have to whip something out as quick as you can. Um, so that's the first thing I want to say. Second thing is that um, uh, I've been reading a, a, an audio book that I've really been enjoying called, by John Ronson. It's called So You've Been Publicly Shamed. And he's a reporter, and what he's done is gone around and talked to many people who, uh, just regular average people who, for whatever reason, found themselves to be the brunt of the Internet's uh, latest joke or the Internet's outrage at something they may have done, uh, whether it's deserved or not, and talk to them about how that affects them and, and uh, how it's affected them, not just psychologically, but people have lost jobs over it. Um, it's affected their families. Um, it, it, so, And it's really got me thinking. There's, there's kind of this whole culture on the Internet of, um, where we, we don't really think that much uh, often of just ridiculing and shaming somebody for whatever. And while I certainly think if somebody's done something wrong, re really terrible, um, we certainly should express some outrage about that. There's certainly some validity in spreading that around and, and commenting on it. But when someone has just made a mistake or someone is not seeking publicity but they've just uh, screwed up or whatever, and we pick that up and throw it online and make fun of it and spread it around, um, that can really be damaging. This Jane Rosenberg, this artist, um, I've seen her website. Uh, like I said, I've never met her, but she's a, she's a fairly competent artist. She's definitely done much better drawings than this one she did of Tom Brady. But now because uh, the internet has kind of picked up that ball and run with it, this one drawing is going to follow her around for the you know for a long time her career could be seriously damaged if not destroyed by this. I mean if you do a Google search for her name uh, you're going to just see pages and pages of articles of people posting this drawing and saying what a terrible artist she is and that's going to really affect her uh, her ability to make a living. I mean everybody has bad days we all make mistakes every artist will tell you they've, they've done lots of bad drawings uh, even when you're trying your best sometimes it just doesn't work out and I just want to say before um, you pick on or ridicule the next person on the internet, just stop and think about uh, the mistakes that you've made and whether you would like it if someone did that to you. Uh, in this book, uh, John Ronson uh, uses the analogy of an avalanche. He says, you know, an avalanche is really just made up of little snowflakes. And everybody, and we can all just say, well, I'm just a snowflake. What, what is my tweet going to do? Or what if I share, say something on Facebook, so what? But when you put all those snowflakes together, it can be, become an avalanche and it can be really damaging. And so, um, uh, like I said, be outraged about things if they're really worth getting outraged about. Um, sh share things that are funny if, if it doesn't hurt anybody. But um, remember, there's real people behind these things, and we shouldn't take delight in trying to tear somebody down. Um, shaming somebody should not be a, a, a sport. So um, uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for taking time to watch this, and um, uh, have a great day.